Just before 6 p.m. on this Sunday evening, talking about what's happening in the weather world, Storm Team Meteorologist Griffin Hardy here in the CBS 42 Storm Team Weather Center in Birmingham, Alabama. This is Tropical Storm Ada, which was the same hurricane that impacted Nicaragua a few days ago as a Category 4 storm. It's now passing through the Florida Straits, it looks like, with a lot of these tropical showers coming down across the southern half of Florida from Miami all the way up to Port St. Lucie. We've got tropical storm force winds ongoing, and that'll be soon impacting the Florida Keys as well. Winds up to 65 miles per hour, northwest at 14 miles per hour is how it's moving. Got a tropical storm warning in effect from uh, Homestead, Florida, all the way up to the Space Coast, up towards Cape Canaveral and Titusville. That means tropical storm conditions are likely happening now or are likely to continue happening for at least the next 24 hours. And then a hurricane warning in effect for the Florida Keys going from Key Largo all the way to Key West. All the Florida Keys included with that hurricane warning in effect until further notice. That means they could see some hurricane force wind gusts as the core of the storm passes through. Now here's the latest track from the National Hurricane Center. What's changed is that now it's expected to make this left turn back down to the southwest and then curve back up to the north. So once we get to Wednesday, that's when it should be uh, making that turn back up to the north and eventually northeast. Uh, beyond Wednesday still, it's kind of a total toss up. I mean, all bets are off with this thing because the movement's so erratic and forecast models have a pretty hard time when there's not a lot of steering currents in the atmosphere to push the storm along. That's what's happening with Ada. So this will likely change again, but for the meantime, this looks to be staying to the east of Alabama. That's the good news. Obviously, we'll keep watching as as any Gulf storm is worth watching. We'll keep an eye on it as the week goes on. Meanwhile, back here at home overnight tonight, not that much changing. We're in a kind of benign weather pattern with passing clouds, some sunshine. The big thing is uh, obviously the warmer than average temperatures for this time of year. That's going to continue for the first couple days this week. Mid and upper 70s tomorrow afternoon from Birmingham to Anniston to Tuscaloosa. Starting Tuesdays when our chances for scattered showers start to go up, especially in the afternoon. Uh, have the wet weather gear ready starting uh, Tuesday morning and then lasting until around Thursday. We'll keep those rain chances in our forecast. Here's the full seven day forecast for the week ahead. We do have one cold front that'll be passing through on Thursday. That'll help to cool it off, cool off things a little bit. You'll feel that in the morning. You'll see that Friday morning we get back into the 50s, but not a dramatic cool down. During the afternoon, it's still going to be pretty mild by November standards with those highs remaining in the mid to upper 70s. That's your forecast. We'll be back on tonight at 10 on the CBS 42 News. Be sure to tune in. Have a great rest of your weekend, everybody.